You know that they do say that every trip is actually a recce trip and today is going to be no different. I'm around about maybe 5.9 kilometers away from home so I'm slightly further than I should be but there's nobody around me so I'm going to be safe. And what I want to do here today is try and get a different type of photograph. I've come to an area which is a waterworks and there's some flat water there, there's going to be a nice sunset and I'm hoping to try and get some reflections. There's also some water flowing below me as well, so I'm going to play around with my compositions and see what type of photograph I can get today. got the camera right at the very end of this little railing here and down below me you can see the water is flowing over here from this uh, reservoir and the idea what I'm trying to do is catch a bit of motion in the water below me here and hopefully I get a nice bit of a sky then with the reflection as well that's going to be in the water I'm going to probably take out most of the sky in fact and even though I'm on my widest lens which is my 16 to 35 at 16 mil I'm angling the camera down as you can see here and I'm catching in the bottom of the frame this bit of a cascade and then I'm able to catch the water as well with that reflection of the sky. Hopefully it looks like it might kick off, I might actually get lucky but yeah, you know, I may not get a beautiful photograph but I'm really happy to be able to find a new location, get out again with the camera and I might just get some nice shots, who knows, we'll have to wait and see. So. I'm going to play around here with some different types of exposures. I'm going to go for fast exposures and I'm also going to put on my uh, six stop filter as well and go for a longer exposure too. And that way then we'll get two different types of shot. One which is kind of catching the, uh, freezing the frame, freezing the motion. And then the other which will get a kind of a cascade effect of the water as well below. I'll also go for my, my typical half a second exposure because I like that with the movement of water. So there'll be three different types in here that I'll get from this one composition. But yeah, let's see. Let's see how we get on. Sun has now peaked through the clouds that are over on the western horizon. And you can hopefully be able to make it out here if this will adjust. I don't think it will actually, because it's so bright. Let me see if I can affect that. Yeah, so you can see here, there's just a bit of a gap in the clouds and the sun just decided to pop through that right now. Got that photograph. Hopefully I'll get a nice bit of a sunburst as well. And the sun is around about in the top left third of the frame with this cascade down in the bottom third of the frame. And then you get the reflection of the sky. I am still hopeful that I am going to get a bit of color as well here. So I don't know if I'm going to change my composition because with the area that I'm at here, I've got a concrete wall, not exactly the nicest from a composition point of view. Further on up here, right, there are some reeds that are there. If I give you a look at these uh, just up here, but uh, I don't think I'm going to go up there to get that photograph because the water is not as flat by the looks of it. Um, but I don't know, we'll see, depending on what the sky will do, if I'll move along or not anyway. But yeah, still going to continue on anyway, play around here. Hopefully that shot has turned out, like I said, with the sunburst that's within that and then the nice reflection as well from the sky in the water. While I was waiting there now for the light to kick off, what I decided to do is throw on my long lens and I'm pointing straight down at the cascade of water that's actually here. And by doing that, I can just pick out something nice, a small bit of a vignette of a photograph and with the flow of the constant water coming down, I do think it's a nice kind of a different, you know, kind of an artistic, uh, type of shot but I'm playing around with different exposure times as well I'm going to go for a relatively long exposure and then I'm going to go for around about a five second exposure half a second exposure and then try and freeze the water as well so yeah definitely uh, interesting anyway and the sky is just starting to kick off you can see the reflection here now as well coming in the water so yeah maybe I will be maybe I will be maybe I will be rewarded but again you'll have to just wait and see Well, guess what? Sun has gone down, and as you just saw here, there's no real residual light, but there's still light actually behind me here on the east, so there's a possibility that that might still catch. Who knows? I doubt it, but it ain't over until it's over. But yeah, it's still nice to get out as always. Like I said from the outset, you know, every shoot is a recce shoot. 
you never know what you're going to get, but you'll always learn from things you might come back to from a different uh, time with the right uh, conditions. This, I think, could be a nice early morning spot because you might get some nice light with the water as well being flat. You know, I think you'll get some nice reflections as well that are here, but definitely a nice place. Don't know about the images. They might be nice. They may not be nice. I do think that, you know, I've got a good mixture of shots anyway and a good mixture of shutter speeds as well to be able to kind of give a different viewpoint within the photograph, even though it's pretty much all in exactly the same composition. All I did was change out the lens, go for the longer lens, take a uh, specific at the flow, and then I just vary. My uh, battery died there, so I kind of got cut off a bit short, but the light never came back anyway, so I've come over to another part here, which is the bridge area that you have to come across, that I had to come across earlier to get the shot. Taking one final photograph in here, not much light there, but as you can see, right above my head here is the moon, so I might just take one photograph of that with the long lens and call it a day, but yeah, still very, very good to get out. I hope you enjoy coming along on this journey with me. We'll see what the photographs are like anyway. I'll show you them there at the end of this. If it's your first time on the channel, Please do hit that subscribe button, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and until the next time, slong the fall.